Hey guys and welcome to the people out there and Kong Si Fa Chai to everyone who is celebrating Chinese New Year. So, in regards to that, we are here with a Transformers review. But this is a special one. This is Crimson Flame. Because this year is the year of the dragon, which is also my year. So, today we are going to review Crimson Flame. I'm not sure whether it's an Autobot. I think so it's an Autobot because there's no logo. I know this is the authentic logo, but I think so it should be an Autobot or a Maximum. But, alright, so, yeah. So, let's, as usual, let's take a look at the packaging first. And then let's jump into the review. Okay, let's primal aside. It's quite dark today, huh? I'm not sure why. Let me increase the brightness. Alright. And the glare will be a issue, but it's alright then. So, there we are. Oh, Primal just fell. Lomo. Okay. So, this is so in the front. We have the Crimson Flame uh, Dragon Mode over here, all looking dope and all. And this side here is Transformers, Hasbro, and then 2024. You have the Dragon. Ages 8 and up. This side here we have the dragon logo. Who's looking menacing and dope. You have a lot of this uh, Chinese uh, aesthetic with the clouds and all that. The back it's a 22 step transformation. We have the spear and then there's also a stand included, which is nice. So I got it. One of the primary reasons why I got this is because the stand looks cool. And then we have the dragon mode and the robot mode supposed to be an East Chinese warrior and then again this is dragon with the tail coming out from the side here and then the logo down here we have the usual blah 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 stuff top okay the top uh, okay I can explain that <laughs> so I wanted to check whether the figure is actually in the box because the box was too damn light it was too damn light that's the problem so I was like hmm okay so when i open it up everything is in there so since i already like technically opened up the packaging so let's you know uh, unbox it live i mean not live i mean on camera oh boy yeah there you go uh, again they are sticking with the plastic free packaging there you go then we have the instructions empty box Let's give the box to the side and then we have the instructions we have this thing let's take a look at the instructions first I think this is not that complicated because I'm planning to do like a you know the transformation on video so it might take a long time I don't know I'm not a pro transformer transformers transformer so oh boy oh boy they say they will use plastic free stuff now it's all plastic over here god damn it <sighs> okay let's you guys know the drill let's do it so for that it's tied up over here just like primal did just like primal <laughs> but it, this is not bad because primal's box was like god damn so big you can see over here and then primal's just so small but this at least you know the size differences you can see the it's all right okay let's see all right all right one more on the top boom one more here boom oh oh boom yep bro came out straight flying it's quite small didn't realize to be small all right now mine if you just let's leave it here then let's take the other parts too which is the is this a lantern? I believe so. It looks like the lantern or the dragon head. Let's remove the dragon head over here. Boom. Boom. Okay. And then below here, I believe is the stand. Oh my God! The plastic, bro. I hate this. This. This plastic dies, man. Oh boy, at least use those paper ones that came with uh, Primal, you know, Primal used the paper die. Uh, at least it was secure, now it's just all a big 
jolly mess okay so this guy is in here so for now oh my god bro why is it a mess hold up i need to clear these things off Ooh. all right let's drop it here for the meanwhile okay let's put back the scissors and there he is out of the packaging all right and we are back after some time because maybe for you it will be instant but for me it's been a few days so this is what happened i tried transforming on the go but i feel horribly and miserably but now after a few practice i think so i know what to do but before that let's take a look at the extra pieces that they came with so this too is the stand so this is the base and this is the actual stand so just have to like see this bag over here let's pack it in boom there you got the stand now for the weapons so this is the the staff and this is actually a old chinese mace but the thing is it's quite cool because when you flip it this side it looks like a gun because there's another peg over here but it's supposed to be a mace so first things first let's take this pop it here and then we have the fire effect piece for the dragon which acts as the handle over here boom and then lastly we have this lantern thing uh, which you can pop on top here so yeah boom there you go and then you have the shield and now for the main event which is the crimson flame in its robot mode which is i mean it came in the robot mode so <sighs> okay so the dragon head it came off you know i mean it came in a separate piece but you're supposed to attach it the back of the leg over here but my uh, my copy of this figure the left leg is very very loose for some reason it just pops out right out so boom so if i want to like change the pose i can't i mean i can it's just it takes some time so uh, let's take a look at the articulation first so you have the shoulder pad so you can lift your arm quite high a bit and then uh, it has this weird ratchet thing so you can fold so you can like bend the arm straight like this and then like that and then this thing it flips for the transformation but that's yeah, part of the dragon's uh, back feet so same here so you can bend like this and then you can unbend it that far you have a 360 rotation so that's not bad you have a 360 rotation over here too but so it yeah you can do that so bada bing bada boom okay then No. all right then for the head as you can see here's this old chinese warrior why well, it's not focusing focus uh, there you go so it has this old chinese uh warrior face sculpt facial hair and all that it does have a 360 rotation but since it's on a ball joint a bit tight but not as tight as rhinox so it's all right so it can look down this far and then look up that far so it's, it's all right and as for the legs so since you know the legs always like to pop off let me just you know show it individually then. <laughs> so it can bend this way if the dragon said it's not blocking so and then you can twist 360 or any way you want and then the dragon's head it can i mean the feet you can go back a bit but the dragon's head will hinder and you can go front this way 
and then you can go it does go side to side a bit not too much but it can that see that so same for the other foot i mean the other leg uh, same thing you can bend like 90 degrees but the, the tail the dragon tail is actually blocking it so but you can let squish it a bit and then it has this nice uh, very ancient chinese aesthetic thing going on you can see like there's a supposed to be a a dragon emblem thing i'm not sure if you guys can see it or not but yeah, it's supposed to like it's supposed to be a dragon emblem along with the clear plastic and whatnot at the back there is kibble of course so this is the front legs of the dragon it's all neatly packed in and whatnot so in order to like see thumbs up every time so in order for me to like equip the weaponry so i first need to like remove the fire effect piece and then you have to like put it in here then boom then you can just reattach the fire piece again just like that there you go now he holds the mace and then for the shield so you can see in the legs over here there's like a point over here a pack hole see this packs in right here boom now he has shield Ta -da! so now for the main event let's transform it I'll do it in one take hopefully i'm much more confident now because there's not much videos online except for this guy it's from japan so things for this okay first things first you need to like bring in the arms like this the dragon's feet uh, basically like this and then turn to the back as you can see over here so, so since my leg is like flimsy and all that it's loose right so i just removed the, the leg i'll re to reattach it as the dragon's head so for the tail you just have to like move this leg over here and then pull up pull up boom that's the tail that's all and then for this thing you have to like can you see like this thing over here yep so they are on both sides as you can see so i need to like remove more like detach those things like that and then you bring these two front legs to the back oh boy don't tell me this thing is coming out okay no okay it's all right so you bring it there and then you try to like slide this thing up in a weird way so it like covers the head it's kind of weird but yeah that's how you do it so once that's done you can close it back if i'm not mistaken oh no don't don't close it back no don't close it back because that's another important step so the tail we need to bring it to the other side right so you need to like this tail over here so it joins up like this you can see they have to split this thing like that boom so once you have you know split the thing you bring it up to the other side like this and then boom that's all for now and then you have to rotate it this way Kind of weird but yeah you rotate it so you see this part over here you should face your side and then you can close this two and then the back legs of the dragon is ready to go in a way like that this yeah there you go boom okay and then now for the head this is supposed to be done you know during the tail process but i'll show you 
So let's say you have a copy like mine which is so damn loose. So you attach the dragon's head to the ball joint. Uh, I advise you to use hair dryer because the it's very tight. So in order to do this, same thing with the tail. You bring this thing forward and then you bring the head like this. Like that. See, now it looks like this. And then you have to twist the head very gently like that and then you continue to push it further and now you have the dragon's head ready and then this ball joint over here which is supposed to have the legs you will just have to twist it so it faces up and then you plug in the Boom, you hit here, and then now you just have to bring the legs to the front. Like that, and then this one also, like this, and then finally, see the shield over here? Bring the shield to the front, and then you just have to like plug it in. Right way? No, this is the right way. Yeah, so like clear some space between. Boom! There you go. Now you have a dragon. So since the loose joint issue is present. The head tends to, you know, who does that lah. So, I cannot do much. You just have to leave it be, or get like a, you know, tight, a, a joint tightener or something. But yeah, oh boy, it's gonna be a pain in the poopy butthole. But it's alright. So now, you might be wondering, how do I pose it here? So it's quite simple, really. See this pack on top of here and then you see the hole inside here yeah that hole this one yeah we move the legs a bit okay now you can see it but okay see that hole there just have to plug it in so so technically this curvature over here holds the stomach question mark of the dragon uh, there you go boom And now you have your very own dragon flying about with good luck soaring over your houses. Kasi ang sikit. There you go. So yeah, that's it. And then if you want to add a bit more heat, oh boy, add a bit more heat to your dragon. And by heat I mean the <laughs> fire beast. This Open the mouth. There's another bag in there. Let's pack it in. Boom. Now your dragon can breathe fire now. Oh boy. I'm telling you this is gonna be a pain in the ass. But yeah. Boom. Now in order to like you know revert back, you have to like do all the steps but backwards, which is a bit yeah, it's quite easy for for it to transform from robot mode to dragon mode, but then it gets a bit confusing when you do it from dragon mode to robot mode. Maybe I'll attempt to do that, but uh, let's take a review of the dragon mode first. So, yeah, it's quite it's quite a neat design. Uh, I think so. It's like a re heavily retooled version of the old uh, what was it steel bane? I think so, steel bane. And then it's a nice way that the head actually hides inside the body. Like the head is actually in here. I like that way. So you cannot really see it that much. And then the even the stand is nice too. Like yes, it's bricks onto it. Let me just off this thing. Yeah, okay. The bricks onto it is nice. Then it says here transformers. So I assume this thing is a Autobot. But I like to think this that this is actually a maximum. 
from the Chinese era. Or also like to further take this to the extreme that this is actually Bodhidharma <laughs> in its Transformers mode. I mean, it makes sense though because they did have like human characters as Transformers or something like that. I mean, I know the Marvel had it, so like we had Ghost Rider, we had Venom, those characters had the, the uh, version of Transformers, even Star Wars had it. I think so we had like a Darth Vader one and an Obi Wan one. So yeah. So there you go. This is the Dragon mode. So the articulation is quite similar. This thing is like it's on a hinge. So it's like it connects. So you move one leg, both also moves. But you can try to move them individually, but to make it a bit different, like the only thing that can make them look individual is like the way that they pose so you can like this one can be a bit closer a bit farther so there you go you know it looks different and then another thing to complete your dragon you can take the lantern piece and then you can just put it chucho here oh boy but yeah there you go now it's bringing good luck into your lives Ooh, kasi kasi on kit you know but yeah so other than that this is quite a neat toy but should you get it and uh, if you ask me no need la it's, it's cool to look at but you know if you have like my issue but i think so it's only me it's like a personal issue maybe other other copies of the product didn't have this because they were like transforming it normally they have seen few videos but if you want to talk about weapon storage on the stand itself, yes, you can store every weapon in the stand. So, the, the technically the weapon, the base holder, you can just slide it in here. Ooh. And then the maze thing, you can just plug it in here. Boom. The lantern. You can just plug it in here and this for the fire you can just put here you can put here or even you can put it in the back over here so boom there you go so it's i really like how the stand acts like a storage uh weapon storage unit so it's quite nice so other than that yeah so for the so let's say if you want to pose your uh your dragon, I mean your robot mode. I believe you just have to use, just have to turn around, bring it this thing over here, and then I believe this is the pack pull, I suppose, something like that. So you just have to like chuch out here and then he'll float. I'll, I'll post some pictures later on, but yeah, other than that, oh, oh, oh. yeah, it's alright, it's a nice toy. I like it, but is it the best Hasbro toy? Nah, clearly Optimus Prime was the best one. Oh, we we'll always know that. But yeah, so hopefully this year, the year of the dragon brings you all the luck, all the wealth, the health necessary to your lives. And with that, I show this and the video. Ooh, bringing once again, bringing good luck into your lives. Kong Si Fa Choi Happy Chinese New Year Happy Lunar New Year Thank you Terima kasih Nandri Panakam Sesha Nih